Hello YouTube. Well, it's been a while, but uh, we're going to do some videos and today uh, our video is on the, I'm not sure how you exactly pronounce it, C-I-V-I-V-I. Uh, it's called, this particular model is called the Rustic Jet, G-E-N-T. It's got, um, I believe that's G-10 and Micarta uh, here. Really nice looking uh, Damascus. Uh, let's see what the blade steel is. If it tells, just Damascus blade is all it says. Um, comes with a little sticker and cleaning cloth, little leather pouch. Please note this is a pocket knife. No clip, thank God. It's a back lock, so it's not going to fold up on you. It's very strong. And uh, we're going to do a little cutting test with this today just for fun. Uh, with the COVID-19 stuff, I uh, have a lot of projects in the works that are on hold. And whenever this breaks loose, there's there's going to be a lot coming out of this channel. Uh, I'm really going to pump it up. Uh, video quality, everything else. But for today, we're going to uh, to just do the old-fashioned way. Uh, the Stump of Doom area is undergoing a <laughs> an extreme makeover, to say the least. And uh, it's going to be really fun filming out there with the bigger knives and testing out door knives. So I had a lot of time to think about it and I have a very kind neighbor next to me who just did a tremendous amount of work and helped me with it. And I'll, uh, in another video, I'll take you back there and just show you where we're at now and, and some of the things that are going to happen out there but it's really going to be exciting um, there's also new knives coming completely new designs some things you've never seen before and I'm really really excited about those and they will be um, with some friends of mine longtime friends and it's, it's kind of like the best of, of three worlds, although I don't know what I contribute. These other two guys are so um, so knowledgeable and, and so well versed. You know, I'm just, yeah, whatever you want, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I've put in a bunch of suggestions and um, we got a lot coming. I, I can't wait to, uh, to do it. I'm also while i'm in lockdown like we all are uh, i'm going to uh, do a series on the bomba forge knives and i've been working with them some and you guys really need to see what these knives will do for the price <laughs> they are just such a steel they're indestructible i mean you just you with with your bare hands arms you're never going to hurt these things and they will cut too, and it'll be a lot of fun. So let's get into this video. This is Factory Edge. I haven't done much with this at all. So we will um, do our checks first. Cuts, uh, typing paper. It feels sharp. feels a little smooth like most of them, like they've over polished it. I really prefer uh, slightly uh, more toothy edge and I may even run and grab a stone once this dulls. I do pretty good on the uh, on the phone book paper and I have a chunk of rope. Uh, obviously I'm not going to go out just to buy rope so I don't know if this is sizal, if this is jute, uh, if Joe Calton watches this he does so much of this cut and he maybe can tell you which one it is. One is much more abrasive and harder on the edge than the other but this is what we got and this is just kind of getting back into things it's it's what i got so we'll do a fun test with it and uh 
just see how this holds up. It's extremely comfortable. I love how this thing feels. Um, it's just, just awesome. So let's see. Let's get into get that junk out of the way. And let's try push. Uh, I'm, I'm having to work at this. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, this edge is, is too over polished. As you, it's, it's sharp, but boy, it is. Let, let me, let me go ahead and get a stone. Be right back. As always, this is a Nebulax 123 video, so nothing's ever ready. You know that. Okay, let's see if we can do this quickly enough. And all I'm going to do is strop on. Um, I've quit using strops completely. And uh, I pretty much finish all my knives on a fine Norton stone now. You would be surprised this little bitty thing here how many uh, well that's better but that's still hard I'm gonna go ahead and actually cut in a new edge here real quick that is just too hard That's better. Still not great, but better. I'm sure if I spent more time on it. Um, I'm having to put a lot of force on this to make it cut. That's 10. And it still cuts cleanly. Um, and it'll still pop hair off my arm. But I, I really think this edge needs to be, be roughened up even more. It's just... Uh, it was really, really highly polished. If you do nothing but push cutting, polished edge, probably the way to go. I push cut almost nothing, so I prefer some teeth. Well,
it's better, but I'm having to having to work at that pretty hard. Um, just out of curiosity, this is a Joe Calton in uh, 52100, and you'll be seeing a lot of this this will have its own test I absolutely love this little knife and I use it pretty much every day I'm sorry I probably got out of frame there guys I'm rusty what can I say <laughs> the difference is obvious Joe's knives are just, oh, you really need to go look at his website, and uh, yeah, <laughs> so much difference in, in the cutting, and again, I don't really fault this, um, I just think they make these edges to sell, it's sharp, it, I bet it, you know, it would shave hair, um, but it's just too highly polished to to do a, at least pull cutting on rope. Joe's is much better. And this is some extremely tough, uh, I don't know, Joe, maybe you can tell me what that stuff is. But it is. Let's see what we got here. It still feels good. It doesn't catch. Um, it would take a little longer to really prep this edge. And I may retest this knife with a rougher edge similar to this one. Uh, but it's well put together. It's really solid. There's no movement in it whatsoever. It locks up tight. Everything's well fitted. The blade's centered. Um, one thing that's unique to this, since it is a lockback, it has a half stop. So when you let it go, if your fingers are in the way, it'll stop right there. So that's a pretty good feature. But um, I think this is a great knife. I think the edge definitely needs to be redone. And uh, I'll send this down to you, and I would recommend that... Uh, he, uh, he's going to check it out, and I would recommend that he put a, uh, um, a uh, more toothy edge on it instead of this really highly polished edge. But anyway, I like it. It's very comfortable. Uh, it'll fit in your pocket. There's no pocket clip. There's no need for one on a knife that size. Um, well fitted, well packaged, and uh, it's not super expensive. So uh, it really really is nice I apologize I'm you know like I say I'm really rusty so I'm getting my hands in the way and everything else but you can my old hands have a really tough time with it because I've got arthritis now but um, somebody more dexterous than me would be able to to open that I, I can even do it it's just slow so anyway I think we'll stop it there um, the, uh, like I say, the edge is, is good. It's, um, just too highly polished. And, uh, I would like, I, I may do, before I, I do anything else with it, I may go ahead and cut another, uh, toothier edge and we'll retest that and see how it does. But, Joe, if you know what this stuff is, it is tough <laughs> I don't know where I even bought this I couldn't even tell you but let me know and um, and uh, maybe we'll do a bunch more cutting tests with this take it easy guys uh, it's great to be back a lot of exciting stuff coming and I can't wait to uh, to get everything going and I hope that everybody's safe I hope that you're you know you're thinking safe being safe and uh, we're okay here so far and we'll just see how this plays out 
But once it's done, like I say, there's a, just a whole lot of exciting stuff uh, coming and I really can't wait. It, the COVID-19 stuff hit just about the time that all this came together. Um, some of it's been in the works for a while and so it just threw a wrench in everything. But hopefully it'll be done soon and we'll be rolling. But we've got a lot of videos we can do between now and then and we'll have a lot of fun with. Oh, I'm also building a uh, vacuum chamber to stabilize wood in and I'll be putting that on film so you guys can see how I did it and pretty much a lot of people I think have done it the, the same exact way and uh, we'll go from there. Sorry for all the and eyes. I'll, I'll try to do better. <laughs> I'm rusty. What can I say? But uh, we will uh, have a lot of, uh, probably the next thing you'll see is some of the Bomba Forge testing. Uh, I may do this, or I may just send it on and, and let you film some tests with it. But uh, either way, I'm sure you'll be seeing it again. So take it easy, YouTube. Uh, Y'all are in my prayers and, and Mary's prayers, and she's doing well too, and, and we hope that everybody's safe. I'll take it easy, guys, and we'll talk to you later.